Thank you. A concerning trend playing out in Florida. Cases and hospitalizations continue to surge. And as of today, take a look at this. There are more than 15,000 COVID patients in hospitals across the state. A spike surpassing last year's numbers. And Juan, tonight, just days before the start of the school year, teachers in Broward are dealing with loss. While on break over the summer, four of their own have died from this virus. NBC6 reporter Alyssa Hyman spoke to the head of the teachers union and joins us live from Tamarack tonight. Alyssa. Yeah, and we also learned that there is another Broward teacher uh, assistant who is currently in the hospital battling COVID. Now, we don't know any of these teachers' names yet or what schools they were at, uh, but we did speak to the president of the teachers' union this evening who told us that this is a very tragic reminder that COVID is still very real. As Florida continues to break records for COVID cases and hospitalizations, the devastating impact evident as we learn from the Broward Teachers Union that three teachers and a teacher assistant have died from COVID within the last two days. It hits home really hard. Union President Anna Fusco said those teachers were on summer break when they got the virus, but their colleagues learned of the sad news on Wednesday when teachers returned to the classroom to prepare for the students to come next week. She said at least three of the four were not vaccinated. It really hits because we've been in this conversation about masking up in the schools and <clears throat> our own elected governor acting like um, Masks are not necessary. Just this week, the Broward School Board voted to require masks in school and defy the governor. The sad news of these recent teacher deaths, Fusco says, just underscores the importance of that decision. Right here in our face, we know people, we're, we're seeing it, we're feeling it, we're living it. You can't say anything else than saying this is real and we still all have to do our part to curb the spread. And South Florida hospitals are swelling with COVID patients. Memorial Healthcare System on Thursday had 672 patients, just two patients shy of the peak one year ago. And every patient that goes in puts stress on the entire hospital system, and that impedes the quality of care. Because you're utilizing so many supports for each patient, it becomes harder to give high quality care to any patient for any reason. So you have an indirect bad result for some patients simply because of the numbers. Now, another scary statistic to hear, the White House COVID-19 task force said that Florida has, has had more COVID cases this past week than 30 states with the lowest case rates combined. For now, we're live tonight in Tamarack, Alyssa Hyman, NBC6 News.